Oh, yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing really well. Uh, trip to the Thrift Thursday morning. We're back for yet another one. It's going to be a big episode today. Every single item that I pick up, I'm going to show you what it goes on to sell for on eBay. Hopefully, that can help you out there with your own reselling business. Uh, if you get anything out of it today at any stage along the way, just remember to hit that like button down below because it's a huge way to support the channel and I can't thank you enough for doing that. Uh, let's dive into the first op shop. We're only a couple of seconds away, literally. I'm just going to jump in the car right now and in two seconds, we're, we'll be in the first one. So, I'll see you in there. So the first thing I found were these die-cast cars and uh, they were all brand new in box as you can see but every single one of them had a $59.95 price tag so unfortunately I couldn't turn them around for any profit on eBay. The logo board game, this is one that you want to be finding in the thrift. I've only paid $3, it sells for $35 on eBay every single day of the week for me so definitely a board game for you guys to be on the lookout for. Now I've got a real problem with the plush toys, I buy way too many of these. This was a genuine Disney item uh, but just the $2, I thought why not and I almost grabbed this guy as well he was he was actually a pretty cool dude i probably should have picked him up as well but seriously guys i've got a problem with the plush and, and i need to stop doing it the other one as well that i found was these uh ferrari board shorts or casual shorts these were fully embroidered up as you can see with all the correct sponsor logos so um look i think a car enthusiast out there might like these a size medium I might, i've only paid six dollars so i might go 25 30 on ebay but um ultimately the first run of the day was a little bit slow so just a couple of things in that one, guys. Uh, not a lot, to be honest. Not a lot of profit, really. Uh, we're going to push on to the second one, though, and hopefully this day can pick up. All right, welcome to the second run of the day. I managed to find a couple of pairs of really nice shoes. These are in brand new condition. Literally, I don't think they'd been worn. Uh, $25 though, I couldn't be buying those, the Adidas Bouncers. I also found these. Uh, these are the Nike Air Max. They are the Lunaron uh, Nike Air Maxes as well. But uh, what was that, $25? Nah, can't be doing that either. So unfortunately, two, uh, two leaves there found the Adidas Zero Adidas running shoes. Again, pretty much had never been worn as well. But guys, we're talking really high price points today. Suddenly these op shops are really lifting their prices. Can't be doing much on $30. Bubblegum shrimp, I'm always looking at my hats, guys. I've also found this Wayne's World hat as well. Now these are only $2 each. Not, no. Game on. You can make some really good money on the hats though. Um, this is Pierre Cardin. Now, I've never seen this brand before. I'm always looking for the uh, tags um, to see brands that I've never known and just doing a bit of a comp search. This one had a really nice pattern on it. I think they were asking about $8 for it and the comps ended up being not too exciting. So I did leave that one behind. This one, I finally had a winner. I've ended up going with this one for $10. Paul and Shark, heavily embroidered Paul and Shark. Um, had the Oslo uh, Royal uh, Yacht Club on the back of this one. But like I said, guys, so much embroidery. I've sold a lot of Paul and Shark before. It's a brand that you guys should be looking out for. And then I went over to the plush section. Oh, hold on. We're not doing the plush anymore. Uh, and then I went over to the shoes. And the shoes had a few sales. Uh, $20 for those, the Metcons. Uh, I couldn't be doing that. I found Scotch and Soda. Again, though, $20. $20 for those, couldn't be doing that either. And uh, these I wanted to get your opinion on actually. If you could let me know in the comments. For $25, they were all leather, a uh, pair of Converse uh, high tops in red, as you can see there. So let me know. I, I ended up passing on these purely for the fact that they were $25. Um, I think I could have only got about 60 or so. So let me know what your thoughts are. I did buy these though. These were only $15. Um, Adidas men's running shoes, plain black, US size nine, everything that you would want in a pair of running shoes in great condition. Uh, $15 should turn into 50 pretty comfortably. So just the two purchases. I'll tell you what, guys, it has been a very lean start to the day. That's for sure. I'm two up shops down. I was able to, only able to get those two items out of that last run, just the shoes and the polo shirt. But um, I am noticing that the price points are a little bit more expensive than they've uh, been in the last few months. So you can only work with what you've got. And um, unfortunately, there hasn't been much there for me to grab. So I'm here at the third stop of the day. Fingers crossed we can pick things up and I can actually buy a few things. Anyway, we'll see you in there. <laughs> Things started off pretty well in the third run of the day. I found this Fulham FC uh, English Premier League soccer jersey. Now, I sell these on Facebook Marketplace for about 30 bucks, so I'm happy to pick this one up for $6. Should net me at least a $20 profit on this one. Uh, had Bowden on the back, number 26 as well. So that was a good little get. Found some really genuine, authentic, uh, brand new with tag Russell athletic gear. Now, to be honest, I'm actually gonna probably wear this myself. 
Uh, but I did find two of them. One was a size medium, one was a size large. These are actual tall tees, I believe, as well. Some really long sleeves on them. They are short sleeve, but they're very long short sleeve. I don't know. It's just a unique look about it, but I don't mind it. I might keep one and sell one. So for eight bucks, that's not too bad. But the shoes, guys, $30 for a pair of Metcons. Um, what do we have else? Oh, we had the Puma Suede's as well. These ones, again, way too expensive at $20. Another pair of Pumas for $24. I mean, the, the shoe pricing has definitely gone up here on the Gold Coast, unfortunately. 30 for those Adidas's. And then I even went into the clothing and saw a $20 jumper. Fortunately, in another op shop, I was able to pick up these ASICS running shoes for $15. It's probably the most that I would pay for a pair of shoes. There's just unfortunately not enough margin if you're trying to buy anything over $15, generally speaking. So I turned my attention to furniture and I actually saw the wiggles. Uh, there was a bedside table and, uh, and a chest of drawers. There was a set of them. So I, I, I was actually got pretty interested in this because I would normally be able to sell this for about $250 to $300. Uh, on Facebook Marketplace. So I thought even with the pillows there as well, I'd ask the staff to see how much it costs. Hey guys. How you going? The Wiggles, chest of drawers. Yeah. I was interested in those. What was? The drawers or the whole lot? The whole, well, curious on the price for the whole lot. Um, drawers were 60 each. Yeah. And then they were 80, the two big ones. 80 each? 80 each, yeah, yeah. so 160. Yeah. And 120, I think it was. I think it came to about $300, is that right? 160 yeah. 160 and 120. Okay. 280. And uh, price if I bought the lot? That's what it is. It oh, it's is. just yeah. 280 for the yeah. whole lot? Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. All right. yeah. So unfortunately, no luck there, guys. But this was a really great grab. The Commonwealth Games 2018 presentation pants. So these were actually brand new with tags. I didn't realize, but I had a look when I got home. And yeah, presentation pants, what they wore when they were given a medal at the 2018 uh, Commonwealth Games. So that was a really cool find for $7. And then I also found this Nina Pasadena as well. Just a plain jumper. The brand is a good one, though. I do often sell it. So two quick little pickups there to end that run. Well guys, we're either gonna have a mare of a day or we're gonna leave the best for last because it has been a very slow three runs so far. That uh, Wiggles bedside table and chest of drawers, they were actually quite cool, but as you would have heard in that little clip, uh, she was asking $280 and I can't blame her uh, for wanting to sell it for that much because that's exactly what I would try and list it up for on Facebook Marketplace. So unfortunately, no room to move on that one. That would have been a really cool piece to throw in the back of the van, but uh, $280, just a little bit too high. Uh, I did get the ASICs though, as you would have seen, uh, 15 bucks on those and the Commonwealth uh, Games tracksuit pants. Uh, they always sell pretty well for me, uh, anything sort of com games, and especially at this time of year, um, a good little grab with the Olympics being on now. So um, let's make it a good video, guys. Let's finish it on a real big high. I'm going to dive into the next op shop, and hopefully that can round out what has been a fairly slow day so far. We'll see you in the last. Now guys, I don't need to be buying DVDs. I have a ton of them at home, but this is for your benefit. Dawson's Creek, if you can find it, goes on to sell. Also found the Tune Squad, the Looney Tunes. This is an unbelievable grab, with, especially with Space Jam only just coming out. The timing of this is immaculate. Um, so is the jersey, actually. It's a size medium. It's in excellent condition. Uh, $3 was the purchase price on this one. Even had number one bugs written on the back of it. This one will sell in a pretty quick space of time, no doubt about it. I'm making a few dollars on this one. Really changed the tempo of my day. I'm feeling pretty good about things now that I've got my hands on that one. Also found the Cairns uh, tie pants. This is the NBL, so the uh, domestic or national basketball league over here in Australia. Um, not a bad side of the Cairns tie pants. That's a training singlet. Um, should go on to sell okay for me. Santorini. This is a board game that uh, I did some comps on and um, goes for about 60 bucks. So I've really saved the best for last here, guys, because that was a ripping grab as well. I've only paid the $6. Always check behind the counter when in doubt or when having a slow day, because that is often when you'll find the good stuff. So I'm happy with that one as well. Well, I reckon I've saved the best for last, guys. Uh, the Santorini board game there for 60 bucks, and this Tune Squad jersey as well with bugs on the back. Given the fact that Space Jam has just come out, that is a really cool buy for $3. Um, that's everything, guys. Bit of a slow day today, no doubt about it. I will leave up a video right here where I had a little bit more success on a thrift run. So hopefully you can go and enjoy that one too. But to the 30% clubbers that are still here watching now, thank you very much and look forward to catching you in the next vid.